What's up, you guys? It's Carlos Simmons, also known as El Gato, and we're back with another One Piece reaction. We got episode 419. You already know the deal. Follow me on all my other socials. Tell me what you want to see. Other shows, other reactions, music videos, whatever. Viral videos. Whatever it is. Also, like, subscribe. Please share this with your friends. Turn on the notification. I am really trying to branch out with the type of content I make, and I'm trying to make it better and better. I'm, I feel like I'm really starting to get comfortable with the reaction format that I create, that I worked on. I wouldn't say I created it because there's probably other people that have done it the same way, but I've never seen anyone else do it like this. So, so just tell me what you guys want from me. I'm also gonna try to start adding in music into the background for you guys, uh, just so you guys can hear something when it's silent. So it's not just me talking. I might add it into this one, who knows. I completely forgot to say this, oh my god, I'm so sorry. But in the last episode, what we ended up seeing was uh, Nami on that island, uh, the weather island, and then we saw Frankie arrived at Vagabunk. That was about it, besides Luffy actually getting on the ship with Boa, and Boa just straight up having the biggest daydream. Oh, Boa's kicking in because she wanted more food for Luffy. What is up with this pose? Why does everyone like this pose? It... What? Oh, and now I remember someone saying, commented, and like, Loa, Boa looks, uh, Boa looks down on you so much that she looks up. Now I understand what he was saying. Oh, God, that just finally clicked my head. Why does she daydream Luffy to look so weird and different? And what's up with those eyebrows? Them eyebrows be scary, scary. I definitely don't like them. Boa goes from the coldest bitch in the world to this in two seconds for Luffy. I don't like that. They could have made Boa such a strong female character, but she's just down bad for Luffy. Boa is so down bad for Luffy. It's so crazy. It's so crazy that to everyone else, Boa is so scary, but to Luffy, she it ain't. She's just. I don't can't even describe it. And Luffy is only paying attention to Ace. And Luffy's only paying attention to what's going on with Ace. Chopper? Best boy Chopper. So it looked like it was a kind of a spooky place. But I wonder where Chopper's ended up. And if he's with anyone. Because it seemed like everyone's alone. And I'm guessing he's gonna like some medical trade stuff. Or maybe control of his monster form? I hate seeing Chopper in pain. I hate seeing Chopper sad. I love Chopper. Chopper is the best boy to me. He's just one of the best characters because he is truly like child innocence and child emotions. He's a walk like he's a he's an embodiment of that. And it just it warms my heart. It makes me just feel like a kid sometimes. This hurts to see. This hurts me so much. What are these birds? <laughs> Chopper is going to die right now just from fright because those birds are huge. I do like the design. I've always said this though. The animal designs in One Piece are really, really good. I've always enjoyed them. They're very unique. But Chopper's definitely going to be afraid right now. Afraid, afraid. Chopper freaking out is just funny to me. Holy shit, what's going on on this island? It's just one giant tree. Oh, I'm guessing he's gonna learn a lot about herbs and plants and insects here to help his medicine. That is what I'm thinking. They're just bullying Chopper. Poor little Chopper. Oh, damn, that's not good. Are they gonna, are they gonna try to cook Chopper? I do not want them to even attempt to cook Chopper. No, 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 that's not okay. Yeah, Chopper becomes strong. Why does he always skip leg day? Why does it always look like Chopper skipped leg day? Why does it always look like that with a lot of One Piece characters? They, he, he literally has a big, big chest and no legs. All right, we all know that Sanji's gonna be daydreaming or something and that this woman might not even be a woman or that she won't look that attractive. That's what I feel like is just gonna happen. Hey, something's up here because everyone has that same hair thing going on. And also that music in the back is real ominous. It's like, oh. 
it's really a lot darker. Um, so it's like that. I like how Sanji said he's the type of guy that doesn't forget his manners. Boy, you so down bad that you have no manners. What is you talking about? Before we continue, I just I want to guess that it's like a siren place. That's the only thing I can guess because they're not showing the woman's faces. So I'm guessing they're like this is a siren island. I'll say this, this episode is just so goddamn awful. The whole chopper thing was cool. But this is just, this isn't it at all. And to look back at it, the last episode, is the only cool thing was Nami. But I'm hoping for some build up with uh, Vagapunk. But all this just isn't it. This has just been a terrible episode. It feels like the, the writing since Sabadi Arc has just gone downhill so, so fast. Because the Amazon Lily was trash to me. And whatever this is, isn't that good uh, at all either. It just feels so stupid. I don't know why. What the fuck is this? This ain't it. But I was right. That it wasn't, definitely wasn't a woman that he was daydreaming about. That's just scary. What the hell is going on here? Is this a trans co country? Like that? I... Cross-dressing... Uh, what type of country is this? I'm guessing it's a trans or... Cross-dressing or drag queen? Which I, that all I do respect. 